Okay, today we're going to talk about how to calculate volume. We're going to pour concrete on the top of this porch, and we've got to calculate how much concrete it's going to take to fill this section up. Because if we don't have enough, the concrete truck's not going to like coming back for a little bit if we're short. And if we have too much, that cuts into our profit. Or just costs more, we've got a lot of extra concrete. So what we've got to do is we've got to measure across, lengthways, and depth. And then we've got to calculate that all together to find out how much concrete we're going to need for just this top section. Okay? To calculate volume, we need to take length times width times height. The length of this porch is 232 inches or 19 feet 4 inches long. The width of this porch is 107 inches or 8 feet 11 inches wide. And the height or the depth of this porch is 5 and a half inches or 0.458 feet deep. Let's start by multiplying in inches. So the length times width times height in inches that I got for my porch is 232 times 107 times 5 and a half, which equals 136,532 inches cubed. Now to convert that to cubic yards, I need to remember that there's 36 inches in a yard. So my unit multiplier is 1 yard cubed over 36 cubic inches. And I set this up this way so that my inches cubed will cross cancel and I'll end up with an answer that's in cubic yards. So 136,532 over 1 times 1 cubed over 36 cubed equals, so when we multiply across the top or in the numerator, I get 136,532 in the numerator and um, in my denominator, 1 times 36 cubed, or 36 times 36 times 36, is 46,656. Then I need to take 136,532 divided by 46,656, and I get 2.9, which is approximately equal to 3 cubic yards of concrete which is what I'll need for my porch. But will I get the same answer if I multiply in feet? And the answer is yes. And so the measurements I got for my porch in feet, the length of the porch is 19 feet 4 inches, the width was 8 feet 11 inches, and the height or the depth of the porch was 5 and a half inches. So first, I need to look at these numbers and take them from feet and inches and think about them as mixed numbers. And so when I say 19 feet, 4 inches, that's 19 is my whole number, and then 4 inches out of 12 inches of the next foot. And so my mixed number for 19 feet, 4 inches is... 19 and 4 twelfths, and we're just going to leave that as a not reduced fraction. And then 8 feet 11 inches as a mixed number is 8 and 11 twelfths. And then 5 and a half inches, I don't have a full foot there. It's part of the first foot. And so there is no whole number, it's just 5 and a half out of 12. And then take these mixed numbers and make them into decimals. 4 twelfths as a decimal is 1 third, or 0.333 repeating. So 19 and 4 twelfths as a decimal is 19.333. 8 and 11 twelfths, so we have 8 and then 11 divided by 12 is 0.917. And then 5.5 divided by 12 is 0.458. And so when you multiply all of those, you get 78.956 cubic feet. And then to convert the cubic feet to cubic yards, we need to remember that there are 3 feet in a yard. And so our unit multiplier 
is one cubic yard over three cubic feet. And that gets our cubic feet to cross cancel so that we're left with an answer that's in cubic yards. So 78.956 over one times one cubed over three cubed. And in, anytime you cube one or take one to any positive power, you're still just gonna have one because it's in this case it's one cubed, one times one times one is still just one. And so that number doesn't change any, so our numerator is still 78.956. And then on the bottom or in the denominator, one times three cubed or three times three times three is 27. And then we have to divide 78.956 divided by 27 is again 2.9 which is approximately equal to three cubic yards of concrete that we need for our porch. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. Please hit like, leave your comments below, and don't forget to subscribe to John Wood's YouTube channel for more helpful videos.